Hi everybody, my name is Jackie G and welcome to Art Talk Tuesday. Uh, for those of you that don't know us, I'm with Gortzman's Art Supplies here in Toronto. We're located between two of the best shopping areas in, in our city, Kensington Market and Chinatown. We've been in art materials for over 50 years. We've been in this great location for almost 80 years now. So when you come in, yes, they are the original floors, original walls. The staff are not original. We're all new. But we'd love to see you here in the store if you get a chance. If not, check us out on our website, wartsmans.com. Uh, we'd love to chat with you. If you have any questions about what I'm speaking about today, I'd love to hear from you. If you have questions in general about gifts, because yes, we are talking about gift ideas, you can type them in. I'll do my best to answer them while we're chatting. And if not, we'll try and get back to you after our talk. Of course, you all know I have my notes because I always forget to say something or I have my staff in the background waving at me crazy so that I remember to tell you what we want to let you know about. Uh, yes, today I'm going to be talking about stocking stuffers and give you some ideas. But before we get to that, I have some other things that I want to tell you about. And it's like, wow, I, you know, as I said last time we chatted, I couldn't believe that we were now into December. We're already planning all of 2024, believe it or not. And there's some exciting things coming up. Um, for those of you that haven't looked at it, we have been running a survey on our website and through the emails. Um, if you're interested, we want to get feedback from you. We are always looking at feedback. I mean, I love all the things that we've been bringing in, but we want to get ideas from our customers, what you're interested in. And I know the there are thousands of products of art materials online. I've seen it, a lot of it. Um, and we do pick and choose. We are in a limited space. Of course, we're trying to offer more that's online if we can't get it here in the store. Um, but yeah, fill it out. Let us know what you're thinking. We love to hear your ideas and get your feedback. Um, we have a sale on right now, which will be going almost to the end of the month. Uh, so it's a great time to shop. Uh, we are, we, if you have always or if you have not known about us, uh, Gwartzmas was always known for offering some of the best pricing on art materials. We still continue to do that to this day. Uh, we do offer extra and additional sales uh, just to make sure that you can afford to buy all the materials that you want. There's some exciting things going on within this sale that we're doing this month because we want you to try some of these amazing products that we now carry. So check it out. As I say, it's in store, online as well. Uh, we always make sure to offer almost the same things that we do for both uh, e-commerce and in-store. Um, we have a contest running and our contests are only on Instagram. They're not in-store. We would love if you follow us on Instagram. So if you like what you see and we do a lot of stuff on Instagram as well, uh, like us on Instagram, uh, follow us, check us out. You know, we have some, uh, as I say, great things going on. You can sign up for our newsletter as well. We do also have a points program. I mean, there is so much happening here with Gortzman's Art Supplies. It is just unbelievable. Um, so yes, there's a contest. And please, we did have an issue with someone trying to do a fake account. Please don't follow them. You can see how many f great followers that we have. That's the only one, that's the only one we're going to use, that's the only one you should respond to. Uh, we've been letting people know that uh, when there's been once or twice that a fake one has come up. So check it out, Instagram. And we will have contests every week until the end of the month. So don't forget, if you don't get this one, there's gonna be another few coming up. Um, also, a few things happening that I want to tell you about. Worth Gallery, which is on Dundas, is having a Smalls show. Uh, they're for paintings that are four by four and six by six. This is the first time this year some of our staff have included work in that show. It's a great opportunity if you want to buy someone an original piece of art. They're very affordable. <coughs> Excuse me, they're only thirty-five and fifty dollars, and so that is a great opportunity. It's Worth Gallery, and I'm sure it's on our website if you want to check it out. Uh, they are on Dundas, uh, so that's a great opportunity to buy original art. Um, Art Battle Toronto, I believe, has another 
uh, contest or something that they do coming up. You should follow also Art Battle Toronto. It's a great idea where they get a bunch of artists together and you can watch them as they paint with a certain time limit and then they always pick a winner at the end. Um, lots of other stuff happening. I know there's lots of craft sales and things like that, but these are two great art related that I think you should check out. Um, Beam calendar. I don't want to forget to talk about the Beam calendar. We are doing pre-orders for the first time this year. If you follow us during the year, we show how you can use the Beam calendar to paint different things. And so I'll just flip through. This is a couple things. This is all done by our staff that have painted in something during the year. Uh, so we did our first pre-order so that customers would have it arrive before uh, Christmas. Um, that one is closed. We are doing another one in case someone is not too concerned about a Christmas present but want it until the end of the year. Um, that would be, that's open and believe until the 15th. So we do have another option if you do want to get something in um, before the holiday. We'll do our best but not guaranteed. Uh, but it's, it's a lovely idea and that's from Beam Paints. Uh, what else have I got here for you? Oh yeah, some cool thing happening in our store. Um, we had this idea, we got, you know, really when you walk into an art supply store sometimes it can be overwhelming with the amount of product that you see and we know that just from being in it all the time. So we're starting something new that we're going to be setting up throughout the store and I'll probably take you when I do another walk and show you. So we're putting up QR, QR codes with some of our product so you can get an idea of how it works, what is it, what what it's made of um, because when we're looking at name brands and often foreign product we don't always know anything about it so this is something new that's going to be showing up more and more in our store uh, I think it's a, a fantastic idea and so it'll be a QR code with the product and you can check it out and find out all kinds of information about it uh, so that's coming up oh my goodness what else have I got here okay so products that are arriving or have just arrived, I'm going to talk about them next week because that way we will have everything, hopefully, no, I won't talk about them if we don't have them in our uh, system. But A Gallo is arriving again, so we will have a new shipment of A Gallo watercolor sets. Uh, Rosa watercolor sets, we've got some new ones, they have just arrived. Um, we've got some really cool sets this year from Krita Color. In fact, I think we've got a lot of cool sets this year there's a lot of fantastic materials and gift ideas that we brought in which we haven't done before so definitely check it out uh, and next week I'll talk about some other things um, great so that's all the, th the, the stuff on my notes uh, if I think of something else I'm sure I'm going to fill it in and tell you about it as we go so today I wanted to talk about uh, stocking stuffers and um, I go through and we talk about this with our staff every single year because we want to find some unique product or some ideas that you may not have about what would be a stocking stuffer. Now, definition for us as a stocking stuffer, they're small items that will fit into a stocking. They're not overly expensive. We haven't done anything in a very high price point. Everything that makes it affordable, you can drop something into a stocking. So I'm just going to move the beam calendar. It'll give us a little bit more space. And of course, it's not, you know, this is just a selection. This is sort of what we went around and picked. It is not limited to this. We just want to give you a few ideas of things that we may have brought in that are new or something that will give you an idea. And of course, as I always say, it's an idea in case it's something you've been thinking about for yourself. Because I do believe if we're going to buy a gift, often we want to think about ourselves. You know, you may not think that you're going to get it, but it's something that you've been thinking about. And if it's in a lower priced item, then it might be something that gives you an idea to get started with. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to uh, show you. Um, so we, I decided that I wanted to showcase some of the really nice small pads that we have because these small pads will fit into typically stockings. Uh, of course, the one that's five and a half uh, by eight and a, eight and a half here might be a little bit larger than most of our stockings, but I still thought it was a cool idea and maybe someone's got one of those oversized stockings hanging and that is going to fit in. 
Now, a lot of these pads are available in a bazillion colors, and so we just wanted to pick something interesting. If you wanted to go with something like the Art Creations, they come in different sizes. Of course, I love always pointing out the small format because these are Instagram ready, and so you can always promote that. Lochtum are always great because we all carry small things in our pockets or our purse purses. Uh, we've got these great pads from Hanimal. They make these really nice travel journals. All different ways of thinking about something on a smaller scale that's handy. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen a lot of the subway artists, like people who sit on the subway and love to draw people or do quick sketches. This is perfect and it's great if you give someone an idea on how to do that. And I'm just going to grab, like for instance, if you do that, and I'll get to some of the other pens, but if you do that with something like a Sakura uh, Micron set, that gives you three different tips. Again, not too expensive. Even that on its own makes a great gift, but that paired with a small journal. Uh, and as I say, journals are priced at all different price ranges, so you can really put together something neat, even if you're giving someone two little items. Uh, you know, if you've got Secret Santa or something like that at work, it's also a great idea. So that's just one thing. Also, I've talked about Dingbats before, and Dingbats is a company, this is a vegan leather, uh, so this is all made, and they, their whole idea, this is their wildlife collection. They do give some of it back to the World Wildlife Fund in the UK, um, but these have been extremely popular for us, and they come with different embossed covers, so there's lots of choices and different colors. Someone was saying that they wanted one of the Glick Mints tote. Oh, we're getting to that. We'll talk about that too. So we're, we're getting there. Um, also, I, my, one of my favorites, you all know. And that they love the name Dingbats. Yeah, I like the name too. See, sometimes that's what attracts us. It's not only the product itself, it's also the name associated with it too. Uh, these are great pads from SMLT if you're looking to support a small business. This is a company from Lithuania. I love the idea of these pads. Um, so they are square format. Again, if you're looking for something for someone who does a lot of Instagram, these are, you know, the perfect format for that. All different kinds. I just grabbed a few. Also, the colors show up better on camera, but you're not limited to only those. We have all different kinds. Uh, so I'm just going to put those over there. Uh, also, now, I I'm still old. I'm not going to say old school, but I love sending postcards. Um, the stamps are usually more expensive than the postcard, uh, but this is a great idea from Hanimal. These are in a metal tin, which makes a nice gift. And you get, um, this is like a, just a, a less than 140 pound paper, but they're set up as watercolor and you can paint on them and then mail them, give them as a gift if you don't want to, you know, mail them. But I really like this idea. Um, also, I grabbed this this morning because I thought, you know, artists love when you can support something that they do. These are small format from Ampersand. Uh, this is their gesso board. So I thought that this would fit into, you know, not the tiniest, um, you know, stocking, but it will certainly fit into a stocking. Uh, and that on its own is really nice because then this is standard format, so it can be um, framed or it can hang on its own. They come, this is a pack, so they have four in the pack. Uh, so I think that's also a very cool idea. Uh, no, I didn't pull any single tubes of paint, but I will tell you, any artist will always appreciate a tube of titanium white because you always need white in your palette. So even a tube of paint is also something to consider. And a tube of paint does not have to cost more than maybe $25 uh, depending on the size of the paint tube and that type of thing. So just another, you know, idea. Uh, some cute things that we've been bringing in. Uh, we've been expanding, still sticking to all the creative ideas. So we have these great embroidery kits from Kikerland. Uh, we have a lot of different kits this year and a lot of different I gift ideas, but these are nice and small and certainly will fit into a stocking. They are priced under $10, which is a great price point. They've been very popular every year that we brought them in, so I highly recommend you check those out. Ah, two, a few more pads that I forgot to talk about. These are new from the Japanese Paper Place. 
Uh, we so they I will show you compared to my hand. They are not large. They will fit into my hand. So they made these beautiful notebooks with Japanese paper in them. They come in different patterns wrapped with different paper. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for something small, uh, it's a great introduction into a small pad with Japanese paper. And because I'm still talking about pads, uh, we brought in these other pads from Japan. I believe these have dotted, dotted paper, uh, beautifully made, very small. And also again, I'll show you that it fits into my hand. Uh, just lovely covers on them, and those are great for taking notes or anything else that you like to do. Uh, we got in some really cool little accessory things. Uh, these are, you know, you've got different pouches, you know, kind of small. These are for stacking, you know, your pens. We've got all kinds of really, really cool stuff like that. Oh, yeah, from Cavallini, we brought in all these. We have bags. And also, they call it the Floreal, yes. And lovely printed on canvas. It is a nice weight canvas. I always like to point that out uh, since we are in the can we do carry canvas. Uh, and beautifully done. So this is like their antiqued old style series. But we have these in pencil cases and bags. So if you're looking for something. I'm saying that this is very cute. Yeah, they are very nice. Um, so that's if you're looking to store stuff. Oh, yes also new these are also from japan now i'm not going to open it up but these are this is like a mini stationary kit uh it is tiny so it does fit in my hand they we just thought these were so cute it's got little sheets of paper on it all with the little uh, logo that you see on the box uh, they come they are all with lots of japanese writing on them so you can see that there um, different patterns on the website and in the store and of course really really excited about this i'm going to try and show you the different patterns we are now starting to stock uh, different washi tapes we've got a really cute selection i think we'll keep adding to it just because they're just so much fun and i will tell you that we go crazy when we're buying them because there are so many great patterns out there but we're going with lots of fun ones that we like so just check them out and you can see them as i say we've got them nicely displayed in the store and online okay who doesn't need one of these? This is a squeeze ball. And they come with, I think we have cats and dogs. And this is just like, you got to have it. So enough said. There's the squeeze ball. I'm, I'm leaving that one for you. Oh, we also have these, which do really, really well. And these are just nail brushes. And that just makes a really easy gift just to drop into, you know, an artist bag or someone that you think might need it. There's a couple different shapes. Um, but just really, really affordable, under $5, so something to think about in if you're looking for something small. And if you're still thinking about cleaning and you want to get, you know, you're not sure, we have these lovely olive oil soaps from Tintoretto. Always smells really delicious. And also the cleanup kit from, this is the, called the Mini Survival Kit from Masters, made by General Pencil. So you've got the brush cleaner, the soap, and of course, my favorite, which is the Kiss Off, which does work, and that is a stain remover. So these products are available individually in larger format, but these make really nice little cleanup kits. So I highly recommend that one. And we also have these really gorgeous brush stands. They are ceramic. Uh, so if you're looking for something just to give someone something to lay their brushes on, these are quite beautiful. Again, they're there's a two sizes I'm not sure what we have left in stock um, but you know it does work you can see the indentation there uh, which is quite lovely so these are also available in the store and online um, some new things that came in and so I'll go to now to all the watercolors and pen and all this kind of stuff lots of really just such really neat pens and things I have got to show them to you so of course, if you're, if you're doing um, urban sketching, these are very popular. These are made by Sailor. Now these are actually also a calligraphy um, fountain pen. It has a bent tip. Uh, so we do have these available. Uh, they've been very popular, as I say, with urban sketchers. They come in a different few color body colors. Again, also, I believe under $20, uh, but you can see them 
here and that would be nicely paired with one of the pads that we have to go with it if someone is really considering urban sketching. You can also get these great from Pentel, the traditional uh, brush pen that they originated with. Actually, this is what I would call the newer version because it has the cartridges. The original one had a piece that you would actually replace when you ran out. A lot of people find these handy because it's got the cartridge and they're easy to replace and carry with you. We have the same color if you like to draw with sepia. So that is another option. Uh, we don't bring in any of the other colors, but the pocket brushes have been always popular for us. And so we like to keep them around as much as possible. Uh, if you like fountain pens, we have lots of fountain pens. This is a new one from Plaisir. Uh, the nice thing is it's just got all these new color packages. I happened to pick the orange because it's nice and bright and I wanted you to be Hi, able to see it. Uh, so that's a good one to choose from. Um, also new, uh, and our staff are very excited about this. This is from Creta Color. These are their oil pencils. So this is a pocket set. Again, nice to fit into a stocking. Uh, and these, I believe, are considered an eco-friendly product. These are under $20. Uh, so this is new, but again, our staff are very excited about having these sets now in, and we'll probably bring an open stock, but for now we have the uh, sets available. And again, going back to a painter, uh, we wanted to show that you can always, tools that painters love. Uh, so we decided to show you, Gamblin has come out with these really nice uh, line of painting knives. I mean, it's just nicely packaged, so putting one into a stocking, there's a few sh shapes available, uh, but it, they just look really good on their own. I think they're made to stand. Yeah, they're made to stand, so you could, you know, show that, that they're, they're just really handy. And again, under $20, and it looks really good. And then this is from RGM, and for anybody who's familiar with RGM, uh, we've had their line over the years. Uh, we're looking at talking to them again about more product, but this is a really nice set. Again, nicely packaged, not over packaged, and that's another thing. We don't want you to have to worry about, you know, we want you to be environmentally f conscious of what you're buying. So a lot of these things are not overly packaged, which is, you know, also important to us. Nice set of three under $35 for that. And you see, there you go. I, I'm glad I made you think about it. Um, this is a really cool set from Kurataki. Now, I know a lot of you love the Kurataki product. Uh, this is just a really lovely kit, and it comes with a pen. It comes with some paper, and it comes with the paint. Uh, it gives you ideas on what you can paint, uh, but I just thought this was just a really, really cool uh, set. I think it's lovely, and you can see from the price tag that it's under $20. Uh, Curry Techie makes a lovely line of watercolor, so I would certainly check them out if you haven't seen some of the product that we carry from them. Uh, they often sell out very, very quickly. Uh, so I wanted you to see that. Oh, yeah, I have this one too from Curry Techie. This one, they sort of focused on painting uh, flowers. But to be honest with you, these colors are extremely popular right now. So if you're not interested in painting flowers, you could use them for anything. One thing about their pans, they always have a lot of paint. So it's not as if you're going to run out if you bought this and only focused on what they include. You're going to have a lot of paint to use afterward. Uh, but they come with like you know, all these. You've got a water brush, you've got a white pen, you've got a, a marker to go with it. They've included everything that you need. This one is under $30, um, but this is makes, like to me, this is a great, great gift. We also have these lovely sets of watercolor. These are all iridescent colors. Again, very affordable. This type of color range, these are extremely popular right now. And I mean, this has been around for a long time. I think it's just the way that we've been able to display it. Uh, so that you can use these as highlights, you can use them on top of existing paint, you can put them as an underlay for some paint, um, and you can just apply it to black paper, white, whatever you like. So it's really, really nice. This is our own version. Again, very affordable. It's in a metal tin, so it makes it easy if you want to travel with it. It has the thumb hole underneath so you can carry it. 
whether you're left-handed or right-handed, which I always like to point out to you. Uh, so this is a very cool product as well. Uh, what haven't I talked about? Oh yes, a couple paint sets ideas. So I love RNF product, for those of you that know. Uh, they came out with a couple of these really cool sets. These are half sticks. So it's a great way to introduce an oil painter to their uh, paint sticks. As I always say, it's like drawing with butter or, or a tube of lipstick. Uh, but they come in a couple variations. And so that's a really nice idea. Again, under $30 for that. But this is artist quality paint. I always like to point that out. This is just not your standard paint. This is artist quality so you're always getting pure pigment and that's why they're on a little bit of the higher range but still very affordable and you know again just getting some idea for someone so this is by Amsterdam from Royal Talons and they've put together some of these really interesting sets metallics are still very popular uh, you still can't go wrong using it as a highlight you know even on a very small scale on something you can apply it to cardboard you can put it on watercolor paper I've seen it being used on ceramics it's so many different ways to use it uh, this one is under twenty dollars so again very affordable if you're looking to give someone something that's just a little bit different uh, and going into things you know they're great for younger people or teens uh, we've got these great scented erasers, uh, so those are kind of interesting. They all smell like different types of tea. We've got these uh, pen toppers that a, a young person could sew on their own. They're made easy, and then they create this piece, all different patterns. And of course, these really cool sharpeners. I don't even know which way to show it to you, because you can you turn the dial to make it go to the point that you want to sharpen your pencil they show you and they show a little bit on the back which I believe is in Japanese but you can follow the pictures or use a, use your Google Translate to tell you what it says ah, and we have a video on it so there you go so you can check out our video and see how it's done this is under ten dollars again a very affordable gift and of course we've got you know pastels from Rembrandt uh, buying someone a single pen pastel would be always a great gift. I didn't pull one out because, again, you know, there's, it's almost endless on what you can give someone as a really cool stocking stuffer uh, that you may not have thought about. I'm going to grab one of these here, which I didn't put out. Um, this was very popular by one of our staff. I know that uh, Alexander has used this before. Uh, he loves this idea so that you can magnify something that you want to look at. It's got two small clips on it. This is under $20. Always a very, very popular gift for us. Uh, so that's something to take a look at. Oh, see, they were sitting out in front and I forgot to grab some. This is from Today's Art Day. Uh, this is a new line for us and we brought in some of their pins. Uh, they are fantastic. They are some of the best made pins I think that I've seen. Uh, we do carry other brands of pins, so this is not excluding all the other fantastic locally made pins that we carry. Um, but we wanted to showcase some of these new ones because they are under $15, so it makes them really nice and affordable. And you know, it's the kind of thing where you can wear one or two. You don't just have to wear one. I will fix it up when I have to put them away later. And of course, as someone mentioned, you know, look, you can fold it up small and it'll fit into anybody's bag, right? But we had these amazing Wartzman's t-shirts and totes. So they have all, they have two prints. This is our, how our store used to look in the 1970s, in case you're interested. We also did a new version of it uh, from Flycatcher Press. So that would be something. We have two. And these are $20. So as I say, if you're looking for something you want to put in someone's bag. And totes are very, very big. I see them everywhere. Might as well get something with, you know, a, some nostalgia and uh, totally Toronto. Right? That's what we are. We are absolutely Toronto. And someone um, said that they just ordered a tote the other day. Thank you. There you're, you're, you're collecting part of Toronto's history. That's what I'll tell you. Um, and I did want to show one more thing. Now, this is not a stocking stuffer, and I'll show them again next week. But we finished them, and we put them up on the website. We've created some very affordable kits this year. Uh, we've done one for, this is our gouache kit. 
and we have done a really nice uh, watercolor kit. These are all packaged in house. So we've put it together ourselves. That way we get to decide on the price point that we want to keep it at. We wanted everything affordable. We made a really nice, simple drawing kit. Getting anybody, someone who's you know interested in starting, not sure, someone who wants to draw on the subway or in class, or you know, I've even seen some of the drop-in art uh, classes where they're using sketchbooks and they're not using big donkeys and big pads. So there's another option in case someone's looking at some of the local drawing courses. And of course we made one for acrylics as well because acrylics are still extremely popular. And this can be for any age group. We're not limiting, we're not telling you it's for anyone in particular. Um, but these are all available here in the store now and I did want to make sure that you all knew about it. Of course there's a gift cards because they're very small and they'll fit into a stocking. And it's like, wow, okay. I think I've done it for today. But as I say, we're not limited to everything that I showed here. There are thousands of items in the store and online. Our staff are here to give you any ideas. You know, it's, someone may mention something. I know I write lists all the time or I listen to what someone's asking for and I try and, and search for it. You can find everything that you need here at Gorson's Art Supplies. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty confident about it. So next week we're going to talk about uh, bigger items. <coughs> Some of the whoops, some of the new items that came in uh, to showcase those to you. If you have any questions in the meantime, you know you can send them to us. You can send them to our staff. If you're thinking or you want to know about any products for next week, something on a larger scale that you're not seeing, you know, let us know. I'll try and grab it while we're chatting, and we can certainly show it to you. Uh, so yeah, I hope I've given you some ideas on what we think are st great stocking stuffers. Uh, again, uh, this is a lot of fun and I always look forward to it as part of the holiday season. Until next week, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week and please keep on creating. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>